This is Grizz Nation Live, a weekly in-depth look at your Memphis Grizzlies. Tonight's show is hosted by Local 24 Sports Director Doc Holliday. It is co-hosted by the radio voice of the Grizzlies, Eric Hasseltine. Special feature reports are provided by Local 24 Sports Reporter Jessica Benson. The program is sponsored by Family Leisure, where family and fun come together. And by Onyx Restaurant, jazz, wine, dine, mingle, and mix. Hi, how are you? Doc Holliday. He's Eric Hasseltine. Welcome to another edition of Grizz Nation Live. And E, another full week of basketball for the Bill Street Bears, including earlier today. You all just back, got back in the Grizzlies balling. But don't touch on that, but just no. say the success that the Grizzlies have had over the last five to six days. Man, let me tell you what. It is a lot of fun to watch this team right now play, Doc, because they're playing as a group. They're playing well on both ends of the floor. Their defense has been sensational. It was again today. We'll touch on that here in a minute. No doubt. No. Before we get into the show, of course, let's tell you what's coming up on the show. As I just said, Eric and I have a weekly recap, including today's game in Minnesota. Eric brings it up and puts three on the board with my man. And Jessica Benson takes us out to South Haven with a look at what the Memphis Hustle has cooking this season. And Eric and I taking a look at the week ahead. But first, as I said, we start with today's game. The Grizzlies in Minnesota tangling with the new look Timberwolves. Right. Now they finally traded away Jimmy Butler, their best player, but Minnesota Soda still has two of the best young players in the league. You got Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns. Today their youth got bullied. The Grizzlies have gotten back to playing their physical yep. basketball. They did it again today in Minnesota. Another impressive road win, 100-87. to The bets, Mike Conley and Marcus saw who's been around, two of the original Bill Street bullies. <laughs> now they've added the young fella, Jaron Jackson Jr., and that nice little big three new core. All hooping today, the Grizzlies getting another good win. Well, I know you'll love the way this team played today, Doc, because you like physicality. You like teams that are tough. You like defense. You like guys also just going out and hooping. And all of those happen today. You see a steal lead to a Mike Conley break right there. You mentioned Carl Anthony Towns. And early on in this game, Marcus Gasol established a physicality with him. You see a pick and roll right there with Marshawn Brooks and Jaron Jackson. Jackson wasn't intimidated at all by the bigs for, for Minnesota either. The Grizzlies moved the ball incredibly well. A very high assist to, to made field goal ratio. That shows they were sharing the ball. In fact, at halftime on the radio broadcast, we talked about just that, that the number of assists were so much in favor of the Grizzlies that if they just continued to play team ball, you felt like things would be good. Now, it was good to see Derrick Rose knocking down the three there. He looks like he's got that bounce in his step again. But when it was all said and done, you need your big guys to be big. And when I say big guys, I'm not talking about just size, but Marcus Gasol, Mike Conley, they've been terrific. Garrett Temple hit a big shot. Total team effort again today, Doc. And let me tell you what, walking out, the Minnesota people always said, you guys are good. And that's the word going around the league right now. This team's playing really well. And looking at today's game, man, uh, like I said, they've gotten back to their physical play. Yeah, Mike Conley. Probably was a little slow to start the season. Mike, Mike is just straight getting his ball on right now in Big Spain. Mark saw he's been the unsolvable problem that everybody knows he can be. But I like also what Garrett Temple is adding, man. And I'm still extremely impressed with Jaron Jackson Jr., man. I mean, top draft pick, and he's playing like it. And he actually outplayed a top draft pick on Friday. But we'll talk about that game in a minute. Right. But JJ, man, I mean, just this Grizzlies team, I think it's surprising. Not only a lot of NBA teams, but a lot of NBA so-called experts and a lot of NBA fans because I'm not surprised to hear that Minnesota's like, okay, this is a good team because right. the Grizzlies have always had respect. Last year, you know, not an indicator, but <laughs> right now. It a little different like, last year. Yeah, it looks like they've gotten their respect back. They do have the respect back. And the, the funny thing is, you mentioned Jaron Jackson Jr. A lot of the talk today was why only 19 minutes. Well, part of the reason is you got Omri Caspi back this week. You got your Michael Green back today. Jaron picked up a foul in the first half that kind of took him out out of the action because it was his second in the first quarter. And then I thought J.B. Bickerstaff let Jamichael Green get his run going to try to get him back into the rotation. That's been a lot of the talk in the locker room. Hey, wait till we get healthy. We can get even better. Jaron has answered every test that's been put in front of him. He's played with a lot of maturity, and he's handled the fact that he is only playing 19, you know, 22 minutes, whatever it is per night, and not complaining about it. So, love to see that, and it was a great week all the way around, capped off by a big win today on the road. No doubt about it. Salute. Now, Friday, Sacramento was in town, and so was former Grizzlies head coach Dave Ye Yeager, and arguably the most 
popular Memphis Grizzly ever. Zach Randolph, Zebo not playing with the Kings, but as they try to go younger and younger, Zebo and the Kings coming to town. The six Sacramento Kings not even using Zebo this year. So no, not They at may all. as well give them back to us because we're back <laughs> to that Bill Street basketball. But anyway, Sacramento trying to get younger and younger, but they came in here Friday and they got schooled as well. The Grizzlies, winners. Yeah, they were terrific in this ball game. They went right at Sacramento. And, you know, Sacramento's got so much youth and athleticism. You can put them down the way the Grizzlies did with a 15-2 run to start. You can see shots going in from everywhere early in the ball game. That three built that 13-point lead. But the Kings responded with a 15-2 lead, a run of their own. De'Aaron Fox is going to be really, really good in this league. You see his shake and bake right there. But the Grizzlies just kept putting pressure on the Kings all night long, knowing that a young team would give up eventually defensively a lot of good looks. And Marcus Gasol, again, from the outside, he's been terrific from beyond the arc. Big win. Big, big bounce back win from the last time they played. Great win. We're running out of time. But I do I want you. to get to this win because oh, I was yeah. extremely impressed with this one. On Wednesday, the Grizzlies went to Milwaukee, taking on the Bucks team that had the second-best record in the NBA. And the Bill Street Bears went in there. And ball. Now they got this guy Giannis under the Kumpo. He, I mean, he's long. He can hope. He can do all these things. But he got doomed. Handing the Bucks their first home loss of the season, probably playing one of their best games of the season, of the season, if not the best game. Once again, Mike Conley, Marcus Saul, money. Yeah, they were absolutely outstanding. Everybody was asking Mark to be more aggressive. He took it to heart in this ball game. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, and I was proud of the way you said that, Doc, was terrific. But in the end, it was the Grizzlies again. Both ends of the floor, doing it with teamwork, doing it with passing, being ready to shoot. And I'll tell you what, I agree with you. I think it was their best performance of the year. It's probably the best performance we've seen in over two years from a team top to bottom against a very good Milwaukee team in a building where they hadn't lost. That was a game experts around the league looked at and said, okay, we'll see what the Grizzlies are really all about. And the Grizzlies answered that test. People in Milwaukee said the same thing. People today in Minnesota said, boy, you guys are really good, really tough, really physical, and it's fun to watch you guys play defense. And it was fun to call that game, to say the least. And we have to give some credit to the man who is really named the head coach, man, J.B. Bickerstaff, yeah, doing an absolutely great job. Not only have those guys playing together, but he's kept that theme going, man. They're, they're grit and grind, man, and they're playing and they are responding and they're playing very well right now. I know we're up against it, but I know you'll agree with this when you were a player. Sometimes things coaches say just resonate with you. J.B. Bickerstaff, in an interview I did with him earlier this year, looked at me and said, we have got a really good team in that locker room. And when he said that, I said, all right, if you believe it, I'm, I'm all in. And he believes it, and I'm telling you what, he is doing a heck of a job making a run at Coach of the Month, to say the least. No doubt about it. Now, time out when time is back in. It's time for Eric to bring it up and put three on the board with my man I call Buckets Brooks. Marshawn Brooks. That's when Grizz Nation Live returns. Come visit Onyx Restaurant at 1680 Madison in Midtown. Come enjoy our daily lunch specials, live bands, and casual dinner dining in our new space specifically designed for your enjoyment. With live jazz and R&B every Thursday through Saturday, Onyx Restaurant is your best choice for good food and good times. Jazz, wine, dine, mingle, and mix. Onyx Restaurant on the corner of Madison and Belvedere. It's our healthy living sale at Family Leisure. It's time to invest in your health and well-being. Spas help you sleep better, reduce stress, relieve arthritis pain, and so much more. Swim spas provide all the same great benefits as spas, plus the addition of aerobic workouts. Saunas are great for weight loss, detoxification, healthier skin, and more. Light therapy beds provide vitamin D and improve circulation. Massage chairs help reduce joint and muscle pain, anxiety, and more. Healthy living sale going on now at Family Leisure. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $5,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to virtually eliminate your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you could save, call now. 1-800-922-9827. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. 
for the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know? Call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-922-9827. You're watching Chris Nation Live. Sponsored by Family Leisure, where family and fun come together. And by Onyx Restaurant. Jazz, wine, dine, mingle and mix. Thanks for coming back to Grizz Nation Live. Now, Eric, the end of last season, the Grizzlies bringing in Marshawn Brooks, man. It right. just came in, just absolutely getting buckets. He was scoring so easily. I was wondering why he was, you know, why it took him so long to get back into the NBA. Now, this year, still trying to find his role, still trying to find right. his way. But the good thing about Marshawn, you know you can bring him into the game, and at any time, he still can get you those buckets. Well, it's a remarkable story because when he came in the league, he was second team all rookie, and then it kind of just didn't go the way anybody expected it to for him. He went to China. It's funny, against the Bucks last year, it was Brandon Jennings who came back from China, got a near triple-double, and told people, you know who's killing it over there is Marshawn Brooks. Well, the Grizzlies paid attention. They went and got him. We had a chance to sit down with him this week and ring it up and put three on the board. All right, it's Ring It Up, put three on the board on Grizz Nation Live. Eric Hasselton alongside Grizzlies guard Marshawn Brooks. Good to have you. Nice to, nice to be here. Pleasure. All right, let's, let's, this, uh, let's, let's get this going right away. You're in China. You get the call end of last year. Get an opportunity to come back to the NBA. What did that opportunity mean to you? Not necessarily just Memphis, but the opportunity to come back to the league that you were fighting to get back into. Oh, it was a great opportunity. I mean, it was, a, it was a wonderful feeling, man. Just a wonderful feeling when I got that call. I was actually in America. I had just got back. Um, we, had, we was eliminated the first round of the playoffs and I was sitting on my couch and I got the call and I, I thought it was you know just a, a great opportunity for me to just come here Chris Wallace told me exactly what he was looking for in the guard at the moment and um, I thought it fit my bill he wanted to score at the time and uh, you know I had just had my son my first son so I thought it was just timing was perfect it was all, it was an amazing feeling Timing was perfect, and we needed someone who could get buckets, and so you get the nickname Bucket Getter Brooks. It was a tough way to end the season, but it gave you a base for moving forward. So now as we approach the, the quarterway the quarter mark of this season, how much more comfortable you are now with this, this group of guys playing alongside Mike and Mark now more regularly than you did last year and, and seeing the team see some success as opposed to last year where it was a struggle? Uh, it's a different role. It's a different role than I played last year. So I'm just trying to, you know, just get my feet wet playing with those guys, playing off of those guys. But I'm getting more and more comfortable as the season is going on. And we're playing well as a team. Uh, we've been doing very good defensively. Uh, so as long as we just keep that up defensively, I think our offense will come around and we'll be able to make some noise. Uh, fighting for your opportunities has never been anything you've been a stranger to. You did it your first two years in college. You did it as a rookie and then came along. How much tougher and more resilient has that made you to take whatever life handles you, not just in basketball, but uh, to take it, kind of crumple it up and throw it to the side and say, I got this? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, as a young guy, especially in this league, I think things came to me a lot easier. Uh, so... My, you know, when I went to China, when I went overseas and I spent some time overseas, it definitely uh, it taught me to appreciate every opportunity I get on the court. So every time JB goes, puts me out there, I just want to play as hard as possible and just try to make a, you know, an impact on the game in the minutes that I play. So can you speak Chinese? That's the question I want to know. I was actually, uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't learn how to speak it because I was crippled with a, a translator right next to me the entire time. <laughs> he helped me speak to everybody that was speaking Chinese, so I didn't really pick up the language, but uh, I picked up a lot about the culture, though. What's the craziest thing about China that people wouldn't expect? Uh, that people wouldn't expect? I mean, a lot of things, the food, the, everything, really. The culture is just a lot different, man. You know, uh, everything, really, everything. When you think about it, it's, I mean, we go on and on about China, about how what the difference is, but... I mean, you know, I made it back. Just what are some of the, what are some of your favorite things about Memphis now that you've been here for a little bit and had your time to get uh, get your feet settled and, and really make this uh, where you guys are, are are kind of basing your basketball home? Yeah, well, I spent the last three years in China, so the food, just you know, <laughs> the food, you know, just having some good southern cooking, some barbecue every once in a while, that's definitely my favorite. Great to have you. Thanks for being with us and keep up the success. Thanks for having me. All right, Marshawn Brooks here on Ring It Up, put three on the board. Doc, back to you. I'll jump in there, Doc, because it really is a great story. Marshawn Brooks had a great rookie season when he was with then the then New Jersey Nets and then kind of bounced around a little bit. That's He's a lot like the rest of the roster, second-round guys, other than like Mike Conley, Jaron Jackson, second-round and undrafted guys 
that have either fought for their opportunities or fought to get another opportunity. And I think that's one of the reasons that team, this team is so tough right now. Why you put him on the spot, man? You got to tell the man beforehand that you're going to ask him something in Chinese, man. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't ask him in Chinese. You, I asked no, him if he could you speak know, Chinese. what I'm saying? He's like, no, bro. Why didn't you tell him beforehand? You know, why you trying to do my shot? Like because he, well, he just came and walked out, sat right down, and we got to work. That's Marshawn Brooks. He wants dirty, to get in. Get, man. He that was so not. Was time not dirty. out, man. When time is back, that's in, not dirty. Man. Dirty, man. <laughs> Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity. Call 1 800 653 9090 today. And do what you love online with Xfinity Internet for only $29.99 a month for 12 months. Xfinity delivers the internet speed you need to surf, stream, and download. Plus, with Norton Security Online, your family will get advanced online protection. And it's included at no additional cost. Call 1-800-653-9090 today. And get speed, security, and value from Xfinity for an amazing price. Xfinity delivers reliably fast internet speed and the best in-home Wi-Fi experience. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $29.99 a month for 12 months. It's all backed by our 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. Experience speed at a great low price from Xfinity. Call 1-800-653-9090. That's 1-800-653-9090. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Next, the entertainment, dartboards, to pool tables, and everything in between. Add the finishing touch, bars, bar stools, and more. Win a free Man Cave. See store for details. Man Cave sale going on now at Family Leisure. I'm Dan Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. You deserve to feel safe when you go shopping at a mall, get your car from the lot, or go out to dinner with friends. Unfortunately, not all businesses take their customer safety seriously. Our firm has recovered compensation for clients who were injured or assaulted where the establishment didn't have proper security. Cutting costs is almost always the reason, but it's never an excuse. If you were hurt because of inadequate security, call us for a free case review. Morgan & Morgan, for the people, dot com. Never stop chasing the story. Be committed to being there on the scene. Local 24 News at 5 with a news team you can trust. And World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. You're watching Chris Nation Live. Sponsored by Family Leisure, where family and fun come together. And by Onyx Restaurant. Jazz, wine, dine, mingle and mix. Thanks for coming back. Big news. Big up for the Memphis Grizzlies. That's because the Memphis Hustle up and running in their second season playing in South Haven. Yeah, it's a great thing to have the Hustle out there. They're off to a 3-3 three and three start this season. Grizz Nation Live's Jessica Benson tells us what makes them such an attractive option for fans to go watch basketball. The Memphis Grizzlies are a rarity in the modern NBA, a defense first team finding success in an offense first league. Now, if the NBA is offense first, the NBA's G League can seem like offense only. And that's why the Memphis Hustle has its own unique challenge this season. We hope to have a defensive mentality um, this year and, you know, and just kind of let the offense you know, take care of itself because it will in the G League. Yes, yes it will. Two weeks into the season and the Hustle average 117 points the sixth most in the G League. Defensively, they rank in the top ten. When I was first asked you know, about what my vision was for our team was, you know, we're going to try to be a true uh, minor league team to the Grizzlies. And, you know, obviously the Grizzlies have talked a lot about grit and grind. Um, and I feel like we have a roster makeup that kind of fits in that mold. With just a single returning player and a new head coach, they have a lot of fresh clay to work with. Brad Jones has faced this task before as head coach of San Antonio's D-League team, then the Austin Toros. A G League veteran coach like that should help that process of making it just, you know, totally seamless, the transition between both teams. Winning in the G League is a bonus. This is player development. This is getting guys ready to be Memphis Grizzlies. That's especially the case for two-way players Yuta Watanabe and DJ Steffens and second-round pick Javon Carter. At West Virginia, you know, he was the alpha. And, and more than likely, the challenge for us is he'll be an alpha for us. But if we, if we were just totally going out there trying to, you know, let him get up shots all the time, you know, I'd probably look like a better coach. But, you know, that's not his path for how he helps the Grizzlies in the short term and in the long term. One of the inevitable challenges of the G League is that every Every player's path is unique, but Coach Jones believes by doing things the Grizzlies way, it can help set up each of his players for his own success. 
But at the end of this year, whether it's getting a, a better gig overseas, excuse me, or uh, you know, getting an NBA call up, um, but we all have a path that hopefully we will be better at the end of this year. And g- getting better in their basketball will help them to uh, you know, hopefully change their life. For Grizz Nation Live, Jessica Benson report. I still think this is such a plus for the Grizzlies, oh. baby, to send young players like Javon down there, man, to get some experience. and Because and, they practice and play the plays that the Grizzlies run, so to even learn the system even more. I was talking with Chris Mackers, one of the executives of the hustle, and we were talking about getting guys playing time. You don't get better at this level unless you're playing. And so for a guy like Javon Carter, it's a great opportunity. You're an hour, you know, not even an hour down the road. You're 15, 20 minutes down the road. But you're going down and getting on-court time against other professionals, and now you can come back up and practice with the Grizzlies whenever you want. I thought about our timeout when time is back in. Eric and I, we wrap this thing up because we take a look at the week ahead and see what's going on. Think about this. You wouldn't pay more money for the same vegetable. So why pay more for your flexible line of credit? If you need money fast, Title Max can help. Pay less with our flexible line of credit. Take as much or as little as you need of your credit limit. Without the need to have your car appraised every time you need funds. Visit TitleMax.com slash flex to find out how you can get up to $6,500 and pay less for your flexible line of credit. Enjoy our daily lunch specials, live bands, and casual dinner dining in our new space specifically designed for your enjoyment. With live jazz and R&B every Thursday through Saturday, Onyx Restaurant is your best choice for good food and good times. Jazz, wine, dine, mingle, and mix. Onyx Restaurant, on the corner of Madison and Belvedere. It's our Man Cave sale at Family Leisure. It's time to spoil Dad and give Mom some space. It all starts with great seats. Check out our huge in-stock selection of theater seats and massage chairs. Next up, the entertainment. Regardless of your space, we've got something for you from dark boards to pool tables and everything in between. Add the finishing touch with a bar and bar stools, pub tables, wall art, and more. One lucky winner will receive their entire Man Cave purchase for free. See store for details. Man Cave sale going on now at Family Leisure. Family and fun come together. What do you get the person that loves to tailgate? How about a new tailgate? This year turned Black Friday into Buick Friday with special deals on Buick's three SUVs. Get over 4,700 total value on this 2018 Buick Encore or get 5,500 total value when you finance through GM Financial. You're watching Chris Nation Live, sponsored by Family Leisure, where family and fun come together, and by Onyx Restaurant, jazz, wine, dine, mingle, and mix. Thanks for coming back. Another busy week for the Grizzlies, and it starts tomorrow at home against Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, Luka Doncic comes in. It's the last of the top five picks that the Grizzlies will finally see. Doncic leading the Mavericks in scoring. He's a good one. It'll be fun to watch these two teams go toe-to-toe tomorrow. Wednesday, them dudes here, we used to hate San Antonio. Really not too much, but no, they go to San Antonio. But we, we don't hate them anymore, do we? San Antonio? Doc. Okay. Doc, come on. No, we hate this next team. We ain't, we ain't finna bring it up yet, but yeah, we are. The Clippers. Yeah, this is the rivalry trip. You don't like either one of these two teams, and it's always tough to win in San Antonio. And the Clippers right now very good on the home floor, but the Grizzlies not only snapped, the Bucks win streak there. They also handed the Timberwolves just their second loss on the home floor. Looking to do that again against the Clippers. Now, a week from today, we got one of those teams from the Eastern Conference up from New York, the New York Knicks. Here. That's a Fizzy, right? That's yeah. Fizzy? That's, that's, Is it Fizzy coming back? Fizzdale. They, David Fizzdale coming back. David Fizzdale's uh, team comes in to wrap up a four-game week and really over an eight-day stretch playing five games in eight days, but the Grizzlies have answered the call. They sit right now at 10-5 and five after 15 games. This week is a real, real challenge for them. If they can come out of this week with a strong showing and maybe win two, three games, maybe even all four, they really put themselves on the forefront of people's minds as a team that needs to be reckoned with. Right now, people are still questioning it, but I think they've answered a lot of those questions this week. Now, real quick, we got to give a shout-out, Benjamin. Michael coming back today, didn't really touch on it, but how Played huge great. is that? 
having him back into the rotation. It's great, and, and he played really well for his first game back. I thought he was physical. He wasn't afraid to mix it up after sustaining that broken jaw. Having that depth just gives J.B. Bickerstaff so many more options. As the Grizzlies continue to get healthier, they're also going to continue to get better. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Grizz Nation Live. Good stuff, E. Happy we're putting, holidays, man. We're putting the brothers on, on spot like that, man. I'm going to go on my like that, man. Anyway, man, thanks for watching Grizz Nation Live. <laughs> we'll be right back with another edition next week. We out. Thanks for watching Grizz Nation Live. Tonight's show was brought to you by Family Leisure, where family and fun come together. And by Onyx Restaurant. Jazz, wine, dine, mingle, and mix.